Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning. Welcome to this chapter in which we talk about the different types of meiosis in short. Well, we know that mitosis occurs in somatic cells or normal body cells giving rise to exactly identical daughter cells, right? But in case of meiosis, the process is quite different. Similarly, there are a few types of meiosis which we need to know. So that is what we are studying in this lesson, types of meiosis. Yes, we will be talking about the three major types of meiosis which we know. The first one is the one which is responsible for formation of gametes. Hence, it is called as gametic meiosis. Okay. Then, the second one which is called as zygotic meiosis. And the last one that is sporic meiosis. So what exactly are these three types? Let's have a look at all of them one by one. As the name says, gametic meiosis means the process of meiosis which happens for the purpose of formation of gametes, correct? Formation of gametes in higher organisms, right? All the animals that we have, all the plants that we have, they have these specialized reproductive cells called gametes. Formation of these gametes happens with the process of gametic meiosis. So, what will be zygotic meiosis responsible for? Yes, is it responsible for formation of zygote? Yes, it is responsible for formation of zygote. Wait a second, zygote means organism and organisms are usually diploid in nature. So how can meiosis form organisms? Well, the simplest logic is this process, this phenomena occurs in the lower plants. Which type of lower plants? Those plants, those lower plants which exhibit the haplontic life cycle. Yes? the haplontic life cycle, these organisms, these lower plants will exhibit formation of zygote from zygotic meiosis. So definitely when you talk about sporic meiosis, that means we have formation of spores, correct? Yes, formation of spores, spores means both microspores as well as megaspores. Correct? Formation of spores, that is microspores as well as megaspores in case of higher plants is with the sporic meiosis. Yes? So this gets us to the end of the topic types of meiosis where we learn that gametic meiosis are responsible for formation of gametes, zygotic meiosis is responsible for formation of zygote in case of lower plants. Which lower plants? Those which will exhibit the haplontic life cycle. And those plants, the higher versions, which are responsible or which have the formation of spores like microspores and megaspores in them, they will choose for sporic meiosis which is the third type. With this, we come to the end of this lesson where we learned about the different types of meiosis. Now let's move ahead in the next lesson and talk about the basic difference between mitosis and meiosis followed by the significance of both these processes. Thank you. Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning.